Sit back, relax, and enjoy. And enjoy. Crazy for you. show you some of the sets. Let's go. So right here we have my my favorite set of the whole show. This is Lank Hawkins Saloon. As, as of course I'm Lank Hawkins so I get to play around on this a lot. It's got trap doors, it's got signs and cards and there's a bar and it's real pretty. And I drew those numbers. She did draw those numbers. I drew those numbers up there and Mariah she painted them. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. You want to see more of the sets? Come we'll back here. Come on. This is the the theater exterior. I helped. You did help. There's a ladder here. Oh! Oh my gosh! I must show you him the distress sign. Okay. Oh please, just come. On. See, this is where we use our muscles to maneuver the sets. And now, if you would look here. I've distressed this foreclosed sign. And you see now, it is just one work of art. And now, Mariah here will show you the car. And here is the limo. I painted that. With working doors. I painted that. Cloth here. To really just have a luxury vehicle for our guests to be in during their stay here at North Park High School. <laughs> Over and out. This show has a lot of elements that it brings together. We've got big, giant set pieces that we've never used before at North Fort Myers High School, and it's got a lot of dancing, a lot of tap dancing, which is really new for our school. And um, it was just a really great experience to be able to um, do, add all of these elements together into a great show. Well, Lank's a really frustrated guy. Um, Anything else you'd like to complain about? You're very... Frustrated man, aren't you? Oh, oh, so it's Dr. Freud now, isn't it? Very, very angry. So, I had to, I had to dig out some anger. Um, not really an angry person, pretty chill. So that was, that was fun to do though, to be angry and, and short-tempered and jump all over the place and be crazy. So it was, it was fun, but it was also challenging. So. Well. Once I found an accent that they wanted me to keep, I kind of just fell in love with it and fell in the habit of using it. Um, people backstage will tell you that I was using my accent constantly between scenes and behind the show and even after school. So the accent I really just kind of fell in love with once I got into the swing of it. They're sending some banker out here to put the knife in. She's so full of trickery. Life is bitter as chicory. Bitterness fills my cup. Uh, well, I went on YouTube because I had to speak with a Russian accent, and there was no videos for Russian accents, and I had to just I had to just pretty much wing it. I had to went from like Spanish, toned it down a little bit, and that was pretty much Russian. Bella, well, what are you doing here? I don't know, but. I'm coming back. <laughs> I've been dancing since I was three, so being able to play a character who was the dance instructor for a theater was the most amazing opportunity. Everyone was watching me. It sounds very narcissistic in a way, but I don't know, I kind of like all eyes on me, good or bad, so. I don't think it's best. <laughs> crazy for you was, well, keyword crazy. Uh, again, we involved about a hundred students backstage, orchestra, cast, and crew. Uh, we had to learn a lot of crazy tap dancing. Uh, and our sets were crazy. We had to go from New York City to Dead Rock, Nevada, wherever that is. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of hard work. Uh, and we're proud of our show, but we are glad it's over. And uh, we're happy to be at Barber B. Man Awards tonight. I had 
had to be really mean and really snotty and rich and I had to pretend like I was this big fancy girl from New York City and I was playing the role of Irene and she was, you know, I'm not going to lie, she was a pretty tough role to play at first. I had a lot of help from my director and from Robin and, you know, at the end of the day it just came, all came together and I was able to be really mean and I'm happy about that. So. <laughs> to change sort of where I came from because my character came from a rundown city in Nevada and um, I was born here and I had to I had to get used to of course speaking with a country accent but uh, our country dialect but um, I also had to I, I don't know what it's like to live in a big city so I have to someone says sidewalk, I'm not supposed to know what it is. So um, I just had to get used to living in a really rundown city. Come here, big fella. You played your D's. Indescribable. Cool. Well, well, well. Miraculous. Inspiring. Talking in Russian accents. Precise. Energetic. It was wonderful. Wonderful.